Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, so I was stitching this one, the one you want a piece of me one, and all hell broke loose in my uh, 655. Um, the second needle, uh, it said check and see if it's broke, see if there's a tangle, on and on, but it was the main the main motor error popped up and then said the uh, timing of the needle was off. All of that error kept coming up here on this screen. Oops. Okay. Could not clear the screen. Did not matter what you do. You can turn it off. You can unplug it. You can hope. You can pray. You can do a ton of other stuff and it doesn't matter. Well, then that got me into cleaning everything because um, if you go online and you look all over for help, okay, of course, brother will tell you, take it to a dealer. I don't want to um, travel two and a half hours just to throw this out of my truck at Dennis and say, oh my gosh, fix it. I want to go down there so I can visit them. Um, I don't, you know, want to pile more work on them. So I went through and I cleaned everything um, because the actual thread was stuck uh, in here in the race, okay? So I cleaned that out, uh, put myself a new bobbin in, okay? Um, made sure everything was oiled really, really well. I'm a person, I like to make sure that everything is oiled uh, optimally. And I went through and I pulled everything out. I have a really, really good light. Uh, that Oh, there's some stuck some more. Yep. So I'm still pulling strings out. This was the actual color that did get stuck. So let's see, I have a really bright light that I use. So this gets, look at that, man. You can see anything. That was the color that got stuck. So I bet you there's still some stuck in there. So I'm going to go through after I'm done telling you how I fix this. It's actually super easy. And I'd have gotten really mad if I'd have taken this all the way down to Amish country. And Dennis would have did it. I would have smacked myself. Okay. But anyhow, it did not matter what I did. So I wanted to get in here and see if I had actually broken anything. And I hadn't. Um, so I inspected all of this really cool stuff. And some other stuff. Just to make sure things looked okay. But this little bar right here was all the way down, and it was stuck. Yeah, you can try to move it a little bit, but I don't recommend that, because what you can do is you can actually mess up the timing of your machine. Big no-no. Don't ever do that, okay? Because you have to understand, when these things start to move, they got to plunge that needle down in the right time with that, okay? So don't go messing with it. Don't try to lift it up. Don't bring your hammer out here and try yanking this way in your screwdriver and pry that way in your wrench and just throw it at it like I seriously thought about doing there for a little while. Okay? Remember we have one thing. All sewing machines have them. That little dial that sits on the back here. Okay? Let me see if I can drag this all the way around back here. Right there. So I unplugged it all. Then I reached back there and grabbed that dial and turned it just like I was going to sew. And made sure that I did it in the right way, okay, because you can only go one way, technically you should only go one way. I turned it, and at first it was kind of stiff, but as I moved it, then it just went free. This moved up and down freely. So I turned it a couple times, and it just went smoothly. So I turned the power on. Lo and behold, we're back to the natural screen. So I'm gonna put everything back like it was, I'm going to put this front face back on here, okay? I'm going to string everything up, but I'm going to carefully stitch out some things and make sure that everything goes as it's supposed to and there's no stalling, there's no banging of the needle, nothing like that, okay? But if you ever get that where your needle comes down and something happens and you get that main motor, I can't, I can't remember what it's called, um, but it's a main motor error. It'll come up on the screen and you will not be able to advance through there no matter what you do. Go ahead, unplug your machine, turn it off, unplug it, then slowly start to rotate that wheel in the back and then watch for 
these little guys up here to move because you'll see one of them will be down a little bit lower when that starts to move you'll be free and clear and that will clear that error message for you okay yes I did look all over the internet for some type of help there is none up here but this is the way that I found to clear it that works and it's safe and you're not damaging your machine alright guys thanks